So the project we're working at at the Children's Hospital is trying to um, aggregate all the data that we've collected from the pediatric ICU unit uh, in order to attempt to uh, exploit that data and make the best treatment recommendations that we can uh, for the next patient that comes through that unit. Uh, so we take the electronic health records and we create what we call a patient snapshot. Uh, and those patient snapshots are matrix or image representations of the patient's state uh, over a fixed window of time. Uh, and then we have something on the order of 13,000 patient encounters or patient snapshots that we use in order to train our models. Uh, and the goal being to learn the interactions between uh, the patient vital state, you know, what is their heart rate, what's their blood pressure, uh, the treatments that are given, are they given, you know, epinephrine, to understand what are those most important relationships and to figure out you know, what were the successful treatments that led to um, saving the children's lives and uh, what, what are things that we can avoid moving forward. Obviously the um, NVIDIA products are huge enabling technologies for us. Uh, we're able to uh, leverage uh, some of the advances that have been made in computer vision recently and so we're using the deep learning technologies. Uh, we train our models using the uh, NVIDIA Titan X uh, GPU. Uh, so right now we have two prototype models, uh, one based off convolutional neural networks uh, one using recurrent neural networks. And with these models, we're generating uh, probability of survival predictions for the patients moving forward, uh, as well as physiology predictions in order to simulate augmented treatments. You know, what happens if I increase the dose uh, of this particular uh, treatment? How do I think it's going to affect uh, the patient's physiology moving forward? Uh, so one of the most incredible things for me is being able to be um, in the hospital, in the ICU units, you know, understand what's the information being collected, um, how is information transferring uh, between uh, the relevant clinicians and then figure out how can we improve that, how can we make sure that you know, we're doing everything in our power to utilize this information uh, in order to uh, treat those kids better.